Hey everyone and welcome back to Tom's Garage. Today you join me behind the wheel of the 2024 Toyota CHR. So this is the Mark II CHR and it came out very late last year. I went to the launch of it and I put a couple of clips on social media. This particular model today is the 2 litre hybrid and GR Sport trim. Now this particular model, according to the Toyota website, as of February 2024, is just over £41,000 and it has a precious silver metallic paint with the bitone for £310 extra from the top of my head. I did look at this this morning. £300, I've got £310. So we're just looking over just under £42,000 for today's car as equipped. Now this is a plush, more luxurious version of the Toyota Yaris Cross that this car shares a similar platform with. That car had a 1.5 litre cylinder. This has a 2 litre. Uh, there is a 1.8 litre with 138 brake horsepower available as well. This particular one has 197. Now, the trade off here is I'm getting 47 miles to a gallon, but 0 to 60 of this 2 litre is 7.7 .7 seconds, whereas you're looking about just over 9 seconds with the 1.8 litre. I haven't driven the plug-in hybrid, so I can't comment on that, but that does have over 200 horsepower, so one would expect that to be a little bit faster. Now, while we're talking about the engines, that does affect boot space. The 1.8 litre has about 380 litres of boot space. The 2 litre comes with 364 litres of boot space. And if you get the plug-in hybrid, you're going to have to make do with 310 litres of boot space. So that does affect your carrying capacity. You do get split folding seats in the car. This particular car also has a child seat in the back of it. So that's nice to see we can demonstrate you can fit a child seat into the back of the CHR. Now the CHR distinguishes itself because it's got that sloping coupe-like rear and it's not boxing practical like a stable mate. Now you're going to buy this car because you want that design, you want that aesthetic look. You probably will go for something like this GR Sport because you do get the appearance package of the, like, the kind of sportier look with the bumpers, the alloy wheels, the GR logo badging. There's a Premier one as well, a little bit higher than this, a little bit more expensive. It's got things. I remember from launch a camera rear view mirror. Um, I need to check if that's an uh, option in this or not uh, for the GR Sport, but it is on the Premier and that just eliminates the back end of having to worry about that small pillar box because you do have those fixed seat pillars and seats. Now the car on the road drives really well uh, for a front wheel drive small crossover. It's soft enough and compliant enough on the road and it's got the power, you know, because you've got the hybrid in that large engine, it shear shifts off the road, um, off, the off the road, off the mark, um, which is nice um, to feel and just you feel that confidence while you're out and about and driving. I do also like the front visibility because the bonnet, just because I've got my kind of seat just right, I can see about two thirds of the bonnet, thin eight pillars, so it's easy to park. This car does come with 360 cameras and sensors, so you shouldn't have to worry about parking it. And we do have a park assist button as well, physically down here below the climate deck. Now, while I'm talking about buttons, this particular car, if not all CHRs obviously, but the CHR does come with physical buttons for the climate controls and heated seats, which is so nice to see in 2024. It's not hidden in a menu. You can just physically get in the car, push buttons, turn the heated seats on, turn the climate control on like so, and yeah, you're good to go. There is various, you know, if you want an eco mode or you want it fast, you can control that, of course, but it's just nice to have physical buttons for the climate control and even physical buttons for the volume knob. We do have it on the steering wheel on the left hand side, the steering wheel up and down, but we even have physical buttons here on the centre, just below the centre screen, and you can turn on and off the audio at touch of a button. And now it's become the start of day. Obviously, I don't want any copyrights, so I will not be leaving that on. Foot down, and there we go. It's really easy to drive in the seamless, you know, I really enjoy driving hybrids for that reason. The electric power fills in the gaps and it just makes life just as smooth as possible. And for sure, these CHRs are a joy to drive and probably own, you know, especially being a Toyota, you're going to have that in your head, the reliability that they offer. 
Now it's worth noting this interior trim piece where the door is lit up red or lights up red even but it did light up when a car was going by and it just alerts you that somebody's coming from the rear. I have seen that in the Lexus products and it's nice to see in this Toyota so keep out this in mind this will go red if something's coming up in your blind spot if you're going to open the door. So all in all if you're looking for a compact comfortable luxurious feeling because this is upmarket and more luxurious feeling than the other Toyota um, Yaris Cross that I drove then check out the Toyota CHR. Now I want to say a special thanks to Toyota of Helensburg for loaning me today's car for this video. It's been amazing to get to experience such a new model um, and hopefully you guys all really enjoy seeing this car on Tom's garage. Um, if you do like this video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel below, comment below your thoughts on this new 2024 CHR. Would you buy one? Have you owned one? I'd love to know. As always, stay safe. Thanks for watching. Oh,